Hello, welcome to CS 2020. My name is Alfredo Arno and I'm marketing manager, Power Products Discrete Automotive North America. The first power conversion block that we see in electric vehicles is the traction inverter. We need a traction inverter in order to convert the DC power from uh, the battery into AC to spin the motor. The, uh, the traction inverter is made of three main power blocks. The power block that delivers the power and uh, you know generate the AC uh, from the DC. Then we have the gate driving and the control board. In this reference design that we promote here at, um, at CS, we can see the stack up of the power module, the gate driving board, and the, and the uh, power control board. Uh, the module is an eight, uh, with the DC link is an 800 volts uh, DC link, so we need a module rated at 1200 volts using silicon carbide. And the gate driving board uh, is using isolated gate drivers, which are ASOL D, uh, as well as the control board is using our STP SPC 58 microcontroller, is the ARM uh, 32 bit, which is also ASOL D compliant. The choice of using silicon carbide f as a power switch in the module uh, make uh, this uh, solution very compact and very high powerful, not achievable with the silicon IGBT. We can achieve much more power and much uh, reduced power losses by at least 50%, which turns out in a 7% battery increase in efficiency and lose better utilization of the battery. The system comes with the uh, firmware included, so the only thing that you need to operate with the motor is the water cooling jacket going through the uh, water chamber for the cooling and the DC link, as we said before. Another important power block is the AC to DC converter, which we also call onboard charger. We need an onboard charger uh, to be able to convert the AC coming from the AC line of the plug into DC to charge the battery. Typically, onboard charger or the AC DC converter, they have two stages. We have the stage where we convert the AC to DC with the, to uh, with the PFC, power factor conversion, and then the DC DC parts where we regulate the voltage to charge the battery. Uh, we have different solution choice to make uh, this happening in the onboard charger. We have chosen a totem pole PFC with the silicon carbide MOSFETs. Um, in the PFC, so we don't need the external diode, as well as a silicon carbide diodes in the output of the full bridge LLC uh, for the rectification. Another choice we have made in this design is to replace two of the rectifiers with the uh, thyristors in such a way that we can use the thyristors as a rectifier, but also to control uh, the inrush current limiting and thus eliminating uh, the external mechanical relay. All of these decisions make us able to use standard SM SMD components, and so we use only SMD components for these seven kilowatt um, onboard charger legs. We can uh, use three of these in parallel to achieve 22 kilowatt. The, the more power we can push through an onboard charger, the faster the charging. So it's very important to have this inefficiently and uh, also. Uh, very fast charging. Another part in the power conversion is also the DC-DC that is happening in the car, mostly to serve a lower voltage battery like 12 volts uh, or the other loads like 24 volts and 48 volts, especially for hybrid vehicle. And also the use of uh, a microcontroller which are also AC ASOLD capable uh, for the new uh, safety standards automotive. In conclusion, we are very happy to uh, have demonstrated at CES that we have a uh, capable of supporting our customer with system reference design in the power conversion that's happening in electric vehicle and hybrid vehicle. This system reference design, they will help uh, our customer to develop their own application with ST components, but also will help us to develop better components for the final application. Also, we have the use of silicon carbide, we have demonstrated that in a high voltage, high power uh, power conversion help us to reduce the sizes of the solution and much more better efficiency, reducing the power losses and increasing the battery life. Thank you and uh, for more information please visit st.com.